Hello everyone, how are you guys? It's been a while. I have been recording and I have some clips and there's so much. It's like, oh my goodness, how am I gonna put this together? But anyways, here's just a few of the stuff that I have been working on in my absent. Um, so this, <laughs> I was gonna say this little bear, um, it actually is the large size of the pattern. I shared the pattern with you guys before. I shared with you um, how I was going to make um, this bear. And uh, basically everything that I've used here, all the fabric are the scraps fabric that we use um, during lockdown. Um, so, all the masks, the pattern, the fabric that I use to, to make the mask, um, all the scraps from all of it is combined in, in this um, bear. So I basically took the scrap and just piece them together. You, you know, with scrap, really, there, there is no, um, it's not um, a real, there's no science to it, I should say doesn't take a real genius to to really work with your scrap. Um, I say that because all you really need to do is create, um, um, what do you call it, real estate. You know, just piece it together, sew it together until you get the size that you need to cut a particular pattern that you wanted. With this, I, I piece every little, um, pieces that I had in in this instance I use squares I think these are one inch squares and I just piece them together when I had enough to say cut the pattern for the arm I did that and then I continue on in um, you know piecing together so it's basically just creating real estate fabric in order for you to cut the pattern take the pieces that you need to create what you want to create so that's all I did here, really. It's not, the, you know, there's no science to it, folks. Anybody can do it. But so this, this bear um, is a gift to my daughter, um, Caitlin. Um, she had helped me so much uh, with uh, making all the masks that we sell, sold. We're still selling them in my um, Etsy shop. The link is listed below if you're interested in picking up a few for yourself. Um, I'm currently having sales, so yeah, go check them out. Again, these are, um, you know, creating real estate. As, like I said, again, this is fabric leftover scrap from the mask. And I just put four squares together. And the back here is old jeans that you know, that I just cut up and now I turned it into um, a coaster. The the lining that I use or binding that I use is leftover material again and I just kind of piece it together until I had, see as you can see, I have connecting seam right here. Um, another one right here. And I think there's another one in there. There's another one there. So I just piece it all together to come up with, again, the, the materials that I need. So I was able to create four pieces of, um, four sets, a set of four coasters with this particular leftover. And then on the other side, I didn't want to leave it just blank. So I went ahead and just embroidered the back uh, with, you know, a little bit of little flower there that's what I, I was able to come up so and then of course on my spare time I, I went ahead and embroidered this two little um, little wall decor I guess they're really um, quick and easy like a weekend project and uh, this guy just I thought it really turned out really good I wish I was able to make a better pots on those but uh, uh, but yeah, I think they turned out really good. A great way to really practice on your embroidery. It's just a relaxing, quiet time alone. 
And then over here, more of leftover fabric. This fabric I got and I never really got a chance to use it. Um, but I went ahead and used it to cover upholstery this little chair. It's actually a vanity chair. I had covered it once before and my daughter had used it while she was in college and uh, it was time to uh, redo it. So again, I took some of my fabric left over and this time I did um, hexagon and I just kind of put it like a flower there and then inside each little hexagon, I went ahead and did a little bit of various little embroidery projects. So, so that's what I have been doing. I have a bunch more um, I want to share with you. Um, so I am upstairs, so I'm going to go down here in the shop and show you the big mess I had. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Let's go down and I'll show you the mess I have and um, and what I have going with more fabric scrap. And I'll give you some ideas how you can tackle your um, mountains of fabric scrap so you don't feel like you're buried with, um, you know, leftover fabric that you use from previous pro projects. So anyways, um, yeah, let's go downstairs. Okay, so I promise you I will take you downstairs with all my mess here. Um, between making the mess for the shop and trying to clean up my, my scrap here. It's a mess. And on top of that, it's been really difficult. I've been traveling back and forth between two homes from California to Oklahoma. So it's been really tough and, and I've just been traveling with all my supplies back and forth. So um, some of you already know I am back in California and um, of course I'm within the next couple of weeks or so I'm fixing to, to go back. So, um, so yeah. Um, it's hard for me to really grab a hold and complete a certain project or even, um, you know, do a, a decent video for you guys here. And then the issue I'm having in Oklahoma is because I'm out there, um, you know, in the, at the countryside. So the internet is not all up to par. That's all I could say, I guess. So it's kind of difficult, and that's why the videos that I that I had been sharing over at the Aquino Acres have been really short because it's been so hard to upload video. It takes literally almost all day to upload at least like 10, 12 minutes video. So, and then on top of that, I thought I'd lost my camera from the last year video vlogs that I share with you guys that I was going to Oklahoma for Thanksgiving. That was the last time I got a hold of my camera and I thought I lost it when we were viewing some homes and I have not found it. And then when I returned here, I swear I'm so stubborn. I knew I had it somewhere. I knew I had it somewhere. I kept looking and looking for it. And I finally found my missing camera right here. Yay. It was in one of the bags one of the grocery bags. I must have taken it with me out grocery shopping and um, and I just left it there. But so yay, I found it. So now I'm able to, uh, you know, able to record. It's funny how you get used to um, a certain item using it, you know, well with my age, I'm a little older. So it's quite difficult to get started with new, using new things, you know, so, um, yeah, um, I was using my phone at one point in um, at the Aquino Acres. That's why the images are, you know, um, a little different. It's not a full screen for say so. And uh, and I finally learned how to do that. But now I found a camera, which is really good. So so the good thing is I learned some new things. So anyways, I got my camera. So hopefully I'll be able to. Um, record a little bit more and share a little bit more but I think I'm gonna shoot for maybe um, maybe once a week it's funny because when I get to some idea comes up you know I just go boom 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 and then 
I ran out and then, you know, it's kind of stopped. So, but I need to, to come up with some consistency on a regular basis here. So, but anyways, let me um, show you what I've been doing. So, um, the coasters turn out really, really good. And I have several more old jeans that I wanted to get rid of. I'm getting ready to just throw them to the donation at Goodwill and such. But um, when I made those coasters that I just shared, uh, you know, I said, eh, well, why not? So so I cut out some, you know, I, I've been sewing them right there, a big file right there by my sewing machine. And um, so I just, I've been just cutting out, I think these are four by four, four and a half, four and a half by one, two, three, four. Yeah, four and a half by four and a half. So um, by the time um, I finish those, they should be four by four um, square. So, and, and I think I'm going to do um, coasters with them. So um, I think, uh, but of course I like to get them all uniform so I don't know I'll see but whatever it is I'll either do coasters or maybe even like a pillow case or something because I, I don't think I'll have plenty so what I did with my scrap um, and I still have like a box here but let me pull up this little guy here it's such a it's a mess I have so much um, I have so much fabric, you guys. I have to tell myself to stop buying. So anyways, here's what I got. This is the good way to really tackle your scrap because this is what I found, um, you know, really, really um, helpful for me. So what I did is I took the bags and um, just little Ziploc bags and I separated them by... Uh, either like this one, they're all solid. This is all solid fabric that's scrap. These are the smallest pieces that I'm saving that I could use as stuffing. Crazy, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm going to use that as stuffing, or I can even create a new fabric with it, or a collage or something. So, um, nothing goes to waste. I have problem throwing it away, you guys. So here's here's a piece here that that's a mixtures of um, you know woodlands, fishing. And there's even like um, baseball theme here, mainly like for men's. Um, over here are my linings, fabric. So whites and tan. Um, I can definitely use this as backing. For some project over here are like the marble prints so that's how I sorted them out I mean you might want to sort yours in a different way like by colors or something like that so here I have bees um, over here I have um, like um, sponge bobs they're not I don't think they're not Disney really so um, and then the minions, you know, so I just kind of put those together. And then these are cats, animal, farm animal kind of mixture. So that's just my, you know, these are dogs and cats. That's just how I separated them. And this ones, they're just all the edge. You can see the circles. They're just the, the edge of the fabric, um, salvage edge for say, you know, so... Those are just all a bunch of strips that I could use as embellishment. And these are Disney prints. So that's how I got them sorted out. Um, this is baseball and soccer team and this guy team. I should put combine it with the other one. This is Star Wars team. So, um, and then these are military team. So, um, so yeah, I was able to break it down in this. So then when I grab a bag I don't feel overwhelmed as opposed to just looking at everything so um so yeah that's not only that it, it looks to me it feels organized it looks a little bit more um put together I don't stress myself looking at what's all this file of mess so 
I sorted them out, so that's good. And, I, and the Ziploc, I'm able to just pull the air out of it, and I'm able to just combine it all in one uh, small tub right here. So, and then, so pretty much, that's that's what I have. And then, and then this tub, um, or this box right here. So, um, so yeah. Um, I hope that um, gave you some inspiration as to what to do with your scrap. Um, the bear was a lot of fun to make. Um, I didn't realize how big it was, you know, so definitely I think the next time I might be able to just get away with small size. So anyways, it's going to be a long vlog now, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, end it here i hope that you guys are doing well it's been a while but uh, i am back in california i'm gonna be here just for just a little bit more and then get ready to uh, head back to oklahoma so i hope that i can share another video before i leave but uh if not i'll be talking with you again really soon about the aquino acres so for now take care you all and um have a blessed day Bye-bye.